The Xbox 360 was released November 22nd, 2005 in North America and quickly became the front runner in the seventh generation of home consoles, selling over 84 million units worldwide to date, making it the fifth best selling console of all time. Now the Xbox 360 is still a very capable and versatile machine even in 2018 with the Xbox One X out and the next generation just around the corner. It has a massive and diverse library of games that is sure to have something for everyone. And the best part about the 360 right now is that it is dirt cheap. You can find hundreds of games for under $10. I'm your host as always, KMAC Time, and today we, I want to take a closer look at 10 Xbox 360 games that you can get on the cheap and will always be fun to play. So sit back, relax, hit that like button and subscribe, and let's jump right in with number 10, Ace Combat 6. Released pretty early on in the Xbox 360's life cycle in 2007, Ace Combat 6 is an amazing arcade flight sim game. It's got a powerful storyline, decent enough graphics that still hold up in today's standards, and a great sense of style. This game is amazing. If you're a fan of the Ace Combat series or in flight sims in general, this is a really good one to pick up. It's, like I said, got a great storyline. This is actually an Xbox exclusive. It's not on PS3 or any other thing else. It's the only place you can play it is on Xbox 360. And you can get it for around 10 to $12 complete disc only probably running about five dollars or so so like i said it's dirt cheap it's fun to play it's got great visuals great arcadey fast-paced gameplay and it's just really a lot of fun and it's one that you can really just pick up and jump into it never really gets old Next up on my list is the Star Wars Force Unleashed games. And the first one came out in 2008. And my God, do these have amazing storylines. You actually get to play as Darth Vader's secret apprentice, codenamed Starkiller. And he's trained in the ways of the dark side to defeat the enemies of the Empire. And it's just such a great story. They did a really, really good job with these. The graphics still hold up by today. The gameplay and the combat system is top notch. It really does make you feel like you are a Jedi Sith Lord badass just out there choking things, use force lightning and throwing things and shooting. It's one of the better Star Wars games I've ever played. I mean, yes, you can play Battlefront 2 on the new consoles. But I, for whatever reason, I feel like this storyline is much better than the Battlefront 2 storyline. It holds up a lot better. And it's still one I go back and play every now and then. It's got a great storyline. Like I said, there are two of these games, and they are both backwards compatible. So you can actually put these Xbox 360 games inside of your Xbox One, and you'll play them. So you can even download them on there. So it's really cool you get to play them on the newer hardware. These are great games worth picking up. They're dirt cheap, like always, like 4 or $5 a piece. Definitely worth picking up, checking out. Lots of fun with this series. Next up is another amazing game that came out back in 2010 called Alan Wake. Now this is a really cool choose your own kind of adventure game. It's got a great storyline, absolutely top notch storyline. It's so cool. You get to choose your uh, way you uh, interact with your people and, and how it affects the storyline. It can have multiple endings. It's crazy. They did a really good job with this. It was the first kind of game I'd ever played like this. And it's an Xbox 360 exclusive and it's backwards compatible on the Xbox One. So that's really cool there as well. Like I said, the game is a really cool action adventure kind of a horror feel to it you're actually trying to find your lost wife in this one uh, there's this mysterious disappearance in a small fictional town called bright falls washington it's got great plot twists got a lot of like weird novel kind of things to it it's got great writing one of the better games on the xbox 360 and one you can pick up again for under ten dollars a great value for this it's got great storyline and there is dlc you can buy for it as well and there is a a, a a secondary game you can buy for it as well it's also backwards compatible called alan wake's american nightmare um but you can pick that up as well very cheap both games are worth playing and both games are still very fun to date so i highly recommend picking them up and giving it a play if you've never played this series Next up is another Xbox 360 exclusive called Fable 2, renowned as one of the best action RPG open world games on the console. Like I said, it is an exclusive to the 360 and it is backwards compatible with the Xbox One. There's also the sequel, Fable 3, which is also backwards compatible and is also worth checking out. Both of these games are hours and hours of fun. You easily sink yourself 100 plus hours into these games and not finish everything there is to see and do. 
hundreds of side quests and quests and leveling up and all the kinds of great things to do. Lots to see, lots to do. Great open world environments. Pretty decent storyline. It wasn't the game we were promised in 2007's E3. We didn't get everything we wanted out of this game, but it is a still a very solid choice. And if you're looking for an RPG to play, you never played this one before, sure highly recommend out. giving this okay. series a try. No problem. We will continue Another interesting and very wacky, but still very fun Xbox 360 exclusive is Beautiful Katamari, which came out in 2008 and is the fourth game in the Katamari Damase series. Now this game is amazing. It's just over the wall, just crazy kooky fun. I mean, if you, if you've played these games before, you know what it's about, but if you've never played them before, you basically start out very small, and you start rolling this ball to start collecting things, and you it slowly gets bigger, you can pick up other bigger items, and you have to do it in a certain time frame, and you're doing it to like replace the planets. There's this giant, crazy, cosmic god character it's just over the top wacky it's just japanese crazy basically but it doesn't really matter the story doesn't really matter it's the gameplay that's fun and like i said the storyline is pretty crazy it's pretty quacky uh it's funny for what it is but the gameplay really was what you're looking for here and it's just a load of fun you can sit down with your friends place one on the couch it never really gets old it's just kind of fun relaxing gameplay you guys can pick up and play not a whole lot of a learning curve with this one and i highly recommend picking it up it's around 12 dollars for a complete copy right now and it's one you'll just never really get tired of you can pick it up and play it whenever you'd like and it's just a couple hours of fun here and there and i really highly recommend it Next up, we have my favorite hack and slash on the platform, and that is 2009's Bayonetta, which is developed by one of my all-time favorite game developers, Platinum Games. They did an amazing job with this game. It's one of my all-time favorite series. You can get this game on other systems like the PS3, the Wii U, the Switch even, and other sites on PC. But you can play this version as well. It's very dirt cheap. You can pick it up. It's backwards compatible, so you can pop it right into your Xbox One and play it there. And it still looks and plays amazing. It's got a very gripping and funny storyline just kind of over the top wacky crazy things but you know i love that in a hack and slash game i like it to be over the top over the top in your face action uh, you know the, the kick ass combos the graphics in the game like i said are stunning and her outfits of course are also fun to look at if you are into that but uh, a great solid game here you can pick up the sequel on the wii u or on the switch if you're looking to do that but the xbox 360 version again dirt cheap go back and play the original if you've never played it before highly recommend this game if you're into any kind of hack and slash shooter kind of game like that One of the best first-person co-op shooter experiences I've ever had is Left 4 Dead 2, which was released exclusively for the Xbox 360 back in 2009 and is developed by Valve. This game has a heavy emphasis on multiplayer cooperative, so you have a group of of four survivors trying to survive against waves of zombies. It's just so, so much fun. And there's still people playing it online. If you want to get online and play this on the Xbox One because it's backwards compatibility, there's still people playing this. It's got a, an enhanced palette on the Xbox One X as well. They did a, a graphic update for it. So it's even better looking, runs even better on the Xbox One. Just an overall amazing experience. This game never really gets old. It's still loads of fun to this day. And we're still waiting for Left 4 Dead 3. Hey, fingers crossed that Valve makes it happen sometime in the future but uh, until then you can still play this one on your Xbox one and it's still a load of fun and it's very very Next up is a combination of a few of my favorite games from the sixth generation, and that is the Dragon Ball Z Budokai series. And you can actually get the HD collection on the 360, and it's pretty badass. Now, it only has the first and third game. It doesn't have the, the second game, and I don't really understand why. But anyway, the first and third ones are awesome, and they're really worth your time. They're great anime fighting games. They follow the plot lines of the original series. It's got great plot lines drawn into this. It's got great fighting mechanics there's boss battles things like that you can also of course play couch co-op multiplayer and play against your friends and whoop some ass and some of that i love playing as piccolo and some of the other things it's got great diverse roster of dragon ball characters from most of the series just a really solid series of games here and they look amazing on the xbox 360 with the hd update and this is more one of the more pricier games on this list it'll run you about 20 dollars for a complete copy as it's a kind of a sought after game because it's just so popular but it's one and worth picking up especially if you're a fan of the anime dragon ball z 
um, it's worth picking up. But even if you're not a fan of the, of the anime, it's still a decent fighting game, and I highly recommend picking this one up. You want to hurt your own brother, do you? No, that's enough. I'm nothing like you, Raditz. You're not my brother. Next up is one of the most unique and interesting crazy games I've ever played, and that is Portal 2. Again, just a game that you can have hours and hours of fun with. It's like a first-person shooter puzzle game with this crazy, amazing story. The dialogue in this game is, is top-notch, well, so perfectly written, so dry humor. I absolutely love this game. I've played it through a, a, probably a hundred times. Again, it's a game that is backwards compatible on your Xbox One, so that's a great thing going for it again it's very cheap you can find this dirt dirt cheap probably under ten dollars all over the place you can find it with the orange box collection as well uh, just a game that's so solid so good worth your time a game that you haven't played you probably should go back and play one of the best games of the last generation in my opinion and a game like i said it's dirt cheap so there's no reason to not go out pick it up pop in your xbox one and give it a try if you haven't played it before a game that will never really get old a horrible person we weren't even testing for that now, real quickly before we get to my number one, I do want to mention a few games here before people start blowing up in the comments saying, where's Halo 3, where's Halo Order T, where's Halo 4, all these type of games. I do want to mention that these games are backwards compatible on the Xbox One. They are very fun. That includes the whole Halo series of games on the Xbox 360, which is Halo 3, ODST, Halo 4. Uh, Halo Wars as well. Uh, also, you have your Gears of War, Gears 1, 2, 3, and Judgment on there. Also, I'm going to include all of the Call of Duties that are backwards compatible. Starting with Call of Duty 2, 3, 4, World at War, Black Ops, Black Ops 2, uh, Ghost. All of those are backwards compatible as well. Very cheap to pick up on the 360 and also have hours and hours of fun. And both their campaigns and multiplayers for all these games are still pretty solid. So, again, it's a game you can pick up dirt, dirt cheap. If you're looking for something to play on your 360 or get to a kid who's not really looking to buy a next gen console those are always solid choices as well but with that out of the way let's jump into our last and final game here and that is fallout 3 new vegas and oh my god this game guys is one of the best games i've ever played now you can't go wrong with the original fallout 3 as well but i think to me new vegas is just a little bit better of a storyline but either game really honestly is hours and hours of fun hundreds of hours of fun if you will um, there's just so much to do, so much to see. The graphics are even better on the Xbox One. These are all backwards compatible. Um, I personally, I like these games better than Fallout 4. A lot of people do. I do as well. And if you're looking to get in the mood for Fallout 76, which is coming out in uh, not too long from now, this is the perfect way to go back and do it. Go back, grab some achievements on uh, in these games. They're so much fun to play, guys. Just um, uh, Bethesda does a great job with these. Outstanding, outstanding plot lines graphically hold up and just so much fun to play and with it being so dirt cheap there's really no reason not to pick this game up like i said backwards compatibility in the xbox one is probably the best thing that that microsoft has chosen to do for this generation it really is consumer friendly and it makes us able to go back and play some of these older cheaper games and you don't have to break the bank and go back and pick up some of these 360 games that are still a lot of fun and maybe you skipped over a few of them when they were new and just kind of never got around to them but now it's the perfect time to hop on some of these 360 games pick them up put them in your xbox one and just give them a go because they're loads of fun and they're dirt dirt cheap but anyway guys that's all i have for you guys thank you guys so so much for watching today's video really helps me out when you guys hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this in your subscription feeds let me know down in the comment section what xbox 360 games you guys think were always fun and cheap to play and let me know what, what future lists i could do with a ps3 list or something like that and a gamecube anything like that what future lists you guys would like to see in something similar to this but until next time guys remember that it is always came back time somewhere until then take it easy and peace out Let's jump right in.